Hello everyone, Assalamualaikum. So this is a default Flutter project and uh, if you run it, you will see that we can add numbers as on the button click. So in this project, we will see how to go ahead and add data to our Firebase console from here as we click on the button and at the same time, this number would change based on the number of documents we have in our collection. Now, to make sure that you have the project up and running, go ahead and run CLI or do Flutter Fire configuration and configure your app. And then let's come over here. Now, the first thing we want to do inside this stateful widget over here, we want to declare a variable and we'll call it collection. And inside this, we will create a Firebase Firestore collection. Here we do Firebase Firestore the second one and then in from it we'll get instance and after that we would get a collection now here we would say collection name is people now this collection over here is not there yet so we can go ahead and check it so this is our firebase collection and if you see over here it's empty nothing is there the collection is totally empty so later on, if we click on the button, we'll see that new data and a collection is added. Anyway, so that's the first collect that's the collection that we have created. Now remember, this is a Flutter default project. So we know that in default project, we have this increment function, right? So it gets called from this floating action button, as you can see it from here. Now, each time we click on this button over here, we are going to add data to our Firebase collection. Now, to do that, first we'll go ahead and get this collection object, the one that we created early, and then we'll do add over here. Now, inside this, we're going to add data. We'll add data as map. We know that Firebase takes map data or more like JSON data. So here, we'll go ahead and create some fields. So first one, we would do a name field and then second one here we would do age and I would say 34 and after that we would say job here we would say freelancer and after that here I might say country and here I would say Bangladesh so this is the data that should be added as we click on this button that's as simple as that one so to be able to add data in your Firebase collection, first you have to go ahead and create a collection. Remember, if this collection doesn't exist, it will get created automatically. Actually, how it will happen, so if you click on this, so remember, this collection doesn't exist yet. So, but we just have a instance of this collection over here, which is collection reference. So actually, this would get created if we come inside this function counter increment counter so as it gets add at that moment first this collection would get created and it would insert the data so let's go ahead and check it first over here we are going to restart everything we make sure that our app is in default mode now over here I'm going to click on this all right so we do see that here is one now of course this is the counter value this is one but let's go ahead and make sure in our database we'll refresh it and here we do see that we have our collection which is people which got created automatically and then we have this document and these are the fields that we have created and this is awesome well we could do more things and this time here we would use a different age so that we know that it's a different person so let's just save it and after saving it over here I'm going to click on this button so let's go ahead and do that so we see that it becomes a 2 now if it does we'll come over here and we see that this, so in the collection we see that we have two different documents one for age 38 and the other one is for age 30 it means that it's already working now we want to do one cool thing so after adding the data, we want to get how many total data has been added to our Firebase collection. Actually, it's easy to do. First, we'll copy this one over here. And right after this, here we'll go ahead and create a variable and we'll call it num. And then whatever we had, 
we copy it, we'll get that one, and then from it, we'll call this get method. So with this, we'll get all the documents from our Firebase collection. And if we get it, actually over here, we can get the size property from this num variable. So here we do num, and then here we just simply do, let's go ahead and do size. Now, if it doesn't get recognized over here, you could do await and you are good to go. Now, I'm going to restore everything. And we know that in our database, we have two documents, right? So what's going to happen right now if I go ahead and if I go ahead and click on this, it will add one more over here and then it will return the number. So in this time, we'll see that over here, the value is three for this counter variable, which will reflect over here. Let's go ahead and check that. So here we see three, four, five, six, seven. So our counter variable actually is taking the number of data from Firebase Firestore. And we can verify that here we have seven data. So let's go ahead and check. So over here we do see that we have seven documents. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so that's how you go ahead and create Firebase collection, add data to it, and get the total number of documents from it. Thank you.